the chicken sandwich. One of the most deliciously convenient options for anyone looking to fuel up on the go. In this video, I'm going to be consuming some of the tastiest chicken sandwiches that exist. One thing's for sure, we're all in for a clucking good time. This is the Blindfolded Fast Food Chicken Challenge. happening everybody Eric here back at you with a brand new video and a brand new food challenge now before we dive into any of the delicious details you already know the drill if you haven't done so already smash that subscribe button down below now if you couldn't guess this video has a little bit of a theme going on and judging by my outfit I think it's pretty obvious so in this video, unlike a regular old challenge where I'm just shoving a bunch of food in my mouth trying to get as many calories as possible in a certain amount of time, this one is going to be a little different and I'm actually going to be blindfolded and putting my taste buds to the test, say that three times fast, <laughs> while sampling six of the best fast food chicken sandwiches that exist in my area. So before we dive into anything, I'm going to toss a couple of rules on the screen for you in one of the two corners right about now. So there's going to be three rounds in total. Each round is going to have two sandwiches and two fries. Now, how it's going to work is if I guess correct on both sandwiches, then I only have to choose one sandwich and the fry that goes along with it. But if I guess wrong on either sandwich, I have to eat both and both fries for each round. Now, to spice things up just a little bit beyond that, if I guess wrong on all three rounds, there's a special little treat slash punishment for me at the very end of this challenge, which we'll leave as a surprise and see if we get there. So before we get started, as you can see on the table here, just a few things to help me along with this challenge, uh, mammoth mug, trusty mammoth mug full of water as always a couple of coke zeros to balance all the calories out health and fitness you know and uh that's about it so that being said i'm gonna grab our trusty blindfold here and get started with the first round all right so yes i can't see anything perfect all right so we're gonna bring in the first couple all right so as you can see again completely blindfold i'm just kind of reaching in front of myself hoping that i'm gonna actually get something okay so we're gonna get started with this in five four three two one Okay. McDonald's? Yep. One for one. Oof. All right. Number two. Burger King? Yep. Two for two. All right. I'm gonna choose one. Oh, McDonald's fries are pretty good. I'm gonna go with Burger King. All right. All right. So we finished the one here. 
And then we finish with the fries. So I'll say, off to a very good start, in my opinion. So, this is the uh, crispy chicken, I believe, from Burger King. So just get you guys can see right there. Nice, delicious bread chicken sandwich. The king of burgers and the king of chicken, apparently, as well. It's just something about, like, the flavor of Coke pop with, like, chicken or fries or just it just completes the package you know it's love it absolutely wonderful mm. so you guys out there think that i'm gonna be able to go three for three on all three rounds i want you to put down in the comments chicken <laughs> A little curious for everyone out there what do you typically dip your fries in when you're having fries what's your uh, condiment of choice mustard ketchup are you one of those mayonnaise or ranch kind of fans let me know in the comments curious Last bite, dump for chicken. Got some fries. All right, that's round one down. So, when I finish doing this, round two is coming up. I'm gonna toss this blindfold back on. How about just me throwing my hands up in the air like this aimlessly? It's like the universal symbol of can't see. But. Round number two. Five, four, three, two, one. Wendy's? No. Oh. All right. Well. Oh, I think I know. All right. Well, let's try and see if I can guess this one at least. Wendy's? No. Wow. All right. A and W okay. and Harvey's. That would have been my second. All right, so that's a big, uh, that's a big old L on that one. All right, well, okay, so this one is A and W. This is weird. I've had a lot of these in my day. Very surprisingly, I didn't guess that. So, here's your, I believe this is the uh, chubby chicken or something along those lines. I believe. It's like a traffic jam in my esophagus right now. Cool. And this is the Harvey's. Uh, I believe just crispy chicken sandwich. It was that old commercial where like it was like a shake and bake or something like that. Where like I'm not feel like chicken tonight, like chicken tonight, like chicken tonight. Kind 
hot beef chicken. Definitely should have got some ketchup. A little bit of fries, a little bit of buns left. Finish that off at the end. Round three, blindfold going back on. Wendy's? Correct. Mary Browns? Correct. All right. Not too bad, two out of three. So, as delicious as that is. We're gonna finish off this uh, Wendy's crispy chicken. I've already eaten a bunch of it, but just to show you guys there. Deliciousness. Pickles. Mmm. It's always gonna happen in any challenge where you're overdoing or like overloading on one thing. The first is always gonna taste better than the last, even if the last maybe necessarily tastes just as good or better than the first. Not to knock any, you know, McDonald's or Burger King, I believe those are the first two. Both delicious as well. Wendy's very good. <clears throat> We're gonna finish the fries off. Beautiful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, that helps. Oh. That definitely helps. Parlez-vous full? French fries. Ugh. Sandwiches are done. All three rounds are done. Fair is fair. I do have these Harvey's fries left. Don't worry, I didn't forget about them. And it was about one and a half of the top only buns of the sandwiches left there. So, but everything else, so this is the Mary Brown sandwich, didn't have to eat that because I guessed right. Mary Brown's fries, don't have to eat those because I guessed that right. So, ketchup. So, that's all that's left right there, just so you guys can see. Right there. So, one and a half buns and Harvey's fries. So, like I did mention at the very beginning, there was a treat slash punishment, which definitely isn't really a punishment. If you guys know me, I love my sweets. A little bit of sweet tooth. So I think we're gonna pull a wild card. If you watched any of my previous videos, you know one wild card per challenge, swapping out fair trade item. So one medium to large fry from Harvey's, one and a half bun. We're gonna swap that out for, drum roll please. Three of these delicious mini donuts from McDonald's, McCafe, McCafe, delicious. So we're gonna swap these out. All right. So we're gonna dive into this one here first. This is a uh, 
some sort of sprinkle. I really don't know what these flavors are, but that's what it looks like. Deliciousness right there. Oh yeah. <laughs> that is what I needed. Right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. I don't know what this is, but this is definitely filled with something. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys here. No. Oh yeah. Shout out to my uh, main man. Spelled a little different with one letter on the end, but still named brother from another mother. Eric the Electric, your favorite, Apple Fritter. As you can see, I'm having absolutely no trouble eating these donuts right now. And last but not least, not sure what this one is here, but this one is definitely filled as well. And I'm just going all over my face. Ha ha! A dip. Hmm. I think this is like a creme brulee or something like that. I'm not sure. It's definitely filled with something. Can't really recognize the flavor, but it's not gross, that's for sure. Yummy. Like I always mention through these challenges, you always notice the very beginning you start on the high and you're excited. When then the downward hill slope comes. I swear, I just got a second life as soon as these donuts came out. Off bite. All right, challenge complete. All right, beautiful. So that's it, once again, swap out just the bun there. Mary Browns, Mary Browns, which I didn't have to eat. Fries I swapped out for. So that's gonna be it. Only didn't even get through a whole can of Coke. <sighs> Calories and macros of everything that I did consume is gonna be in one of the corners for you. Another successful challenge. Down the tubes. The U tubes. Uh -huh. So once again, thank you so much for watching. I genuinely appreciate it as always. Just remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and toss this video a good old fashioned thumbs up if you enjoyed seeing me shove all this chicken and a couple of donuts into my belly. And we'll see you in the next one.